It's finally time. What's in that mystery bag? Biggest Christian? car keys. These are always fun. They're a little like pyramids. He I like the Lego of, bricks on it. Yeah, he kind of reminds me of like an escalator or like the little things that you take at an airport. You know? Escalators that are flat. Are those escalators? I don't know. What I mean, I don't know. I don't know what they're called. But <laughs> I mean, they're basically escalators that are flat. Yeah, and we got a blue mystery bag back there. It'll be good. When you make Steve, he's, he's looking a little worn. He's got yeah, $25 he in it. He's not at a 5.0 like Lucky Lucille. No, I think he's, he's still 3.0. He's looking back at Steve Jr. the third. Yeah, he's looking back at Steve Jr. the third. Where are you going? I'm gonna start off going to the left. Like always, gotta go left to get your ammo. No. Yes. <laughs> you know the you know this is the key. No. Left is the key. Inconsistency is key. Yeah, not the key. <laughs> I mean, you never heard anything anybody say anything about inconsistency. <laughs> I know. I know, I know. There's five stink stacks. Post it up on the Post edges. It up. The stinkiest of all stacks. risk of falling out. Uh, but, uh, the really, really tall one, of course. I, I, I was going to say the one on the left, like that's kind of a little bit higher, but I'm not sure. I, okay. And I, I can also, see it. I was also thinking the uh, one maybe on the back right next to the pyramids over there. And it's like right on the edge. So you were thinking the, the tall one was going to No, I did. I said that one. Oh, okay. I said that one and then. I did. Ah, so you're saying three. Yeah. <laughs> well, I changed my answer from two to three. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's moving. It's moving. I think the Legos look really, like, neatly laid out there. They do. That's why they remind me of, like, oh, you know what it kind of looks like? What does it look like? A roller coaster. Oh, it like, does. Like, wheel, wheel, wheel. It kind of does. If you, uh... All of the Legos are, are carts. Yeah, oh. I was thinking the Legos were trash. Oh. You know, the ones where you can go and they have sharp turns and then really, really straight straights and then a sharp turn. You're in like teacups. I don't know. You've never been on that ride? I don't I, think so. I think it's at Cedar Point, but I'm not. I could be vivid. It might be in South Carolina. I don't know. I don't know what ride this is or where it could be. I don't like you're in teacups and you zip around. I think Isn't that just teacups. a spinning ride? That's like a roller coaster. No, it's not a spinning ride. It's not a spinning ride. It is a roller coaster. Maybe when they're not in teacups. Oh. I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> now I'm confused. I'm confusing myself. But I'm pretty sure you just like zing, zing, zing around the corners. Alright. Oh, oh, the mystery bag is twisted. What was the oh, oh, oh. mystery bag's off? Wow, we saw push. There. We saw push. push, man. What was the first roller coaster you ever rode? The first roller coaster I ever rode is called the Blue Street. Where is it? There's what one. What was it like? There's one at Cedar Point. It's the oldest ride there since they took out. Yeah, never mind. The Mean Street was yeah. just the, the longest one. The Blue Street was was the oldest ride. But it's just like a normal one. It's also at um, Family Kingdom in South Carolina, which is more where I remember. Really? Yeah. I've never heard of it. And it's I've been to Cedar Point it's twice. Just, well, it's, it's hidden. It's in the like the back left. Oh, I see. I was, I've never seen it. Never it's, heard of it. It's a little risky. The one time I rode on it, the like, you know the bar that goes across your belly? Yeah. It like came up while we were going down the hill. I had to hold on for dear like, one of the six sexes jumped in. Oh, it was the one on the top. Oh, wow. Wow, that was the one I thought we were going to lose. Nope. How did we I'm just that good. <laughs> I'm just that good. But, but yeah, the, the, the flap, the lap flap. The lap <laughs> flap. The lap flap. It flew up when we were going down the big hill, oh, and I was no. spooked. Did you fall out? No, because I was riding with Daddy, and Daddy put his arm across me, and he was like, I got you. <laughs> like, you know, How old were you? I was small, like 10. I wasn't tall enough to ride a roller coaster until I was like 10. 
I think I rode a roller coaster until I was, I don't know, probably like 13 or 14. Were you afraid of them? No. Do you, do you think I'd be afraid of a roller coaster? Well, actually. I don't know. Whenever I was going up ride the top of a dragster the first time, I was afraid. Were you really? I was. I don't think I've ever been afraid to ride one, except for the power tower. That one freaks me out. No, that's not a roller coaster, though. But that was my last quarter. That's not a roller coaster. Oh, you're right, you're it's right. It's an Eastern Park ride. <laughs> There's it's a difference. It's also a There's a difference. <laughs> All right, let's go. We got the one nice stick stack here. Oh, one little stick stack. One little stick stack. Do we have... 2725 and this will like the Nigeria the third. That's not too bad. That's pretty good. I can't ask for that. We got more than we put in. That is true. That we're is keep going to the left. Wow. My stanky breath. What your stanky breath? I think the first roller coaster ride that I ever rode, it was called the Kraken. The Kraken? Oh, yeah. was that like a big bull? No. Oh. You rode that one with me. Wait, no, I didn't. What? I didn't. Yes, I think you did. The Kraken? It was at SeaWorld. We... That was the first one that you rode? Yeah. Was with me? No. Oh. It was, it was <laughs> the first time I went to SeaWorld. Wait. <laughs> you did just say that you rode your first roller coaster when you were 13. Well, no, I... There. Oh, but you're just... Yeah. I'm just struggling. Yeah, I got another stick stack. That's awesome. On the left, fella. But I do remember riding the Kraken. Yeah, it was. We waited in that line, and remember, we had like a really long, um, like the the floor. It was made of that like the rocky kind of like stuff that goes on the sides of pools. Like if you go to like a a pool at the YMCA or something like that, the okay. floor has that like rock concrete kind of mix. So oh like, yes. Yeah, it has a floor like that going in the line. I don't know why I remember that. I, I remember now. It's just different than other ones, isn't it? Yeah. That was the first time I rode it. I don't remember how the ride goes or anything like that. You know, we even rode it like within the last like two years. I have no idea how the ride goes, but it was, I know it's fun. I don't either. I like roller coasters. They're really fun. Yeah. Did you ever ride the one in Cedar Point that was like inside? It was like a dark tunnel. I don't know. It did we like, ride it whenever we went to Jeremy? No, because they took it out. That's where. Oh, then I never did it. Because I never rode rides at Cedar Point. Oh. Well, I did like one time. I, I don't know. I don't remember it. I rode like the Magnum and then like the Top of the there. That was all I ever rode before we went to Jeremy. The Magnum was the first ride that I made my sister ride because she was really tall when she was small. So she rode it when she was like eight years old. And Cherish was so afraid. It was hilarious. Like, it was really funny. <laughs> she was like, ah, ah. And you know when, like, you go down a hill and their face, you can see their neck muscles and their face is just, like, blobfishy. Like, <laughs> like it is. And they're like, you're like, breathe, Cherish, breathe. <laughs> it was really funny. That might be mean of me to think that, but it, it was. It was hilarious. Yeah, remember when we went to SeaWorld and I don't remember which happened first. We either went on like the water ride. We did. Or I think we went to the the Orca show first. We definitely went to the Orca show first because we were like, alright, we're already wet, might as well go on the wet yeah. roller coasters. Well, we wore tennis shoes, right? Or did I only wear tennis you shoes? We wore tennis shoes, I, I wore flops. Maybe it was just extra bad for me then. Maybe it was <laughs> Only a bad story for me. Because I remember we went, you wanted to sit in the splash zone. I did, yeah. And <laughs> this I'm like wearing tennis shoes and socks. And no joke, the biggest splash on earth comes to us. Yeah. And it just hits, it drenches us. It was so funny because the orca was like, you know, going around his little pool trying to decide what part of the bleachers he's going to get wet. And then he just all of a sudden you see this big black tail go over and we're like, oh no! It was right at us. It was right at us. I was in, like, no joke, like three seats to the left or right, they'd been dry. Oh, remember, but we got two. Remember we were sitting next to the one family with like the little the little kid. He was like yeah. two years old. And we just got 
soaked. And this little kid was like, ah! Ah! Yeah, he did not, he did not like it that because way. he was completely wet. Oh, he did eating? He looked like he I got didn't realize like, how much water those the orcas could splash. Oh, it's a lot. Their tails are huge. I didn't realize it was like that much though. I felt like I was getting like a whole like, I don't know, I don't even know how, I can't even put it into like perspective how much water it was. Like I was guessing like a five gallon bucket, but like I know it was more than that. Yeah, it was more of like a kiddie pool just thrown yeah. at us. Yeah, like a whole kiddie pool just like, like a chucked in it. That's all that hit us, yeah. let alone the rest. The poor little kid looked like he was dumped. He was, he was oh, we were wet. we looked like we were dunked. <laughs> yeah. And then my feet were like just squishy the whole rest of the day, and I had, we had to walk around. I was like, my feet are pruny. I can tell they're pruny. That feet been swimming or bending water. They're just in wet socks. Christian <laughs> hates when his socks are wet too. It's like the worst thing for him. <laughs> and, then, and then we were walking. We're like, well, might as well do the water ride. Yeah. Because we're already soaked. I made it. Like that waterfall, I was like, we're getting completely soaked. Oh, uh, it, was, it was like that spot where you like, had that waterfall just sprayed over like, the track. Like, kind of. Yeah, like, and it was like, I, I swear we were stuck under it for like, I saw like 30 seconds. It felt and like I was it. just like, I'm getting soaked. I'm in a shower right now. We're getting back massages from the waterfall. <laughs> Yeah, we had to guard the door. So you sat there with a stick. I know. 
guarded the door. Mother, you shall not pass. And while I was trying to get these chickens to go in, and I was, they were going and running and hiding in like the thorns and stuff in the woods, like on the edge. I'm like, <laughs> and Christian didn't know that there were thorns, so he just went right in, and he was like, Whoa! There's thorns. He started, he started yelping. <laughs> They were just tied right underneath it. They really like that one bush. There must be a bunch of bugs under there or something. Or they know that we're not going to get them when we're in there because it's a thorn bush. Yeah, they're smart. But then we ended up one by one, I swear we got them in there. It was one, actually one by one. We were so sweaty because we were trying to take the, the one black one. I don't know what his name is or it's her black name. Black Thunder. Is it Black Thunder? I know that's one of the black ones' names. It might have been Black Thunder, but they were being stubborn. They kept running around the she shed. They were running around the, the peacocks and everything. Oh man, they were, they were all over the Turns out, we left one of them out. Did we really? Yeah. One of the chickens. No, Jeremy said that he got home to it and uh, one of them was just outside the coop. <laughs> I was like, sorry, we really tried. Like, I mean, we even, like, checked. We, yeah, we, we went around. I walked, like, pretty far deep into the woods looking for him, and he must have just been hiding somewhere. I didn't know, I don't know where he was at. That's so funny. I didn't even know that one of them was out. I wonder if he just straight up picked him up, like, all right, put you back in. No, I think it just walked in at that point because it was, all, it was all by himself. Oh yeah, it was probably nighttime too because we left pretty late. Yeah, they were they had driven like pretty far away. Yeah, that's wild. But yeah, so I was like, wow. I was like, I thought we had them all. Yeah. I really did. They're hiders. They're hiding. Oh, that was so funny though. You definitely should have seen us just running around trying oh, to get Oh, we look dumb. Well, because Jared was like, all you have to do is and push him in. And I was like, that, that it sounded easy. It sounded easy. It was not. It was, it was a very difficult task. They did not want to go in their coop. No, they did not. The roller coaster's getting really close to the edge. Oh, no, now that I'm thinking about it, we probably could have gotten food. Like, actually chicken food. From like the, the bugs? No, like the feed, the grain or whatever it is. Oh. Because I saw Jeremy feed him the other day with a little bit of the grain out of his hands. And, man, they all swarmed. So next time, okay. next time we'll use grain. I'm afraid. Will they peck me? And they're like, peck, peck. Yeah. It'll hurt. I think so. My well, like, you don't have to use it in your hands. You can just sprinkle it on the ground. They'll, they'll eat it off the ground. Would you pick them up? Would you pick up one of his chickens? Give it a hug? No. You wouldn't? I'd probably peck my face. I think I'd pick up a chicken. you pick up a duck. The mom was upset with you. The mom was so mad. Not my last quarter. All right, the Miss Rebecca's hanging on. Do you see that? Yeah, he's barely on. All right, you ready to pull? Yeah, let's do it. We had three little silver Legos fall. Nice. Was pretty awesome. While we were while we were pulling, we had one of the stick stacks on the right fell. Nice, nice. Mr. Bag's still hung up over there. And we have 3725 Lucky Bag Jr. the third. Nice, nice. So a little bit less, but that's alright. That's not bad. But we get it all back right here. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna fiddle in the middle. When I picked up this this duck, because remember we were telling you about the ducks, I don't know, and the, the eggs. I don't remember if we told you the Mr. Bag just fell in! There we go. But I don't know if we told you that they actually hatched and we went to go see them. And the last time I touched the baby duck, the mom didn't care. So I, I just went and scooped up this baby duck. And I was like, oh, it's so cute and fuzzy. The mom was so mad at me. She splashed you and was like... She splashed me and she was like charging at me. She's like... Rang, 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 rang. And I was like... Ah! What did you expect? You stole her child. I took a baby. But I wasn't trying to take her baby. I just wanted to hold the baby and like feel him. Cause he looks so fuzzy. You know, Christian? You got what you deserve. No, I didn't. I didn't deserve to be splashed with the poopy dunk water. She did. I didn't know they were like that though. That one mom just didn't care that I had her baby. Like the first time I, I carried a duck. She didn't this, care. This one cared. She did. Maybe they were still too young. They're pretty cute. But they were all huddled. 
both together. I know, and I was really trying to lure them in. We brought them a whole bag of, no, actually, we didn't have any bread because the sign says not to feed them bread. So we used some quarters that we had. We had a whole bunch of just regular food to give them. But it was awesome. Roller coaster, but a smaller train. Okay. 
I was really worried whenever I dropped them in the, in the bath, though. Do you think you're gonna get zapped? Well, no, not, not really. No, I wasn't worried about that. I was worried about the, uh, because, like, the whole, like, it says it's water resistant, right? But, like, I don't think it's water resistant whenever the whole back is shattered. No. Like, and I'm missing, like, chunks of the glass on the back. No, you're 100% right. I'm like, I don't think that's water resistant. I think water is going straight into the, the back of the phone. Christian, like, came and found me when we were, when I was in the bedroom. He was like, look, there's water in my case. And I was like, oh, no. <laughs> I was like, but I can't even take the case off or else like, the phone falls apart. Yeah, because he bent. He like pulls it half. He's, he's, he's right. right. He's, he's going strong still, man. He's surviving. He has no issues other than the fact that his battery life is like half. Yeah. But that might not be because of the drop. I don't know. No, it's because he played Rune Skate. <laughs> <laughs>
I think it is crazy that like how how many they like they made or ordered or whatever. But it wasn't enough. I was like, how do you like run out that fast? And then they like they said they aren't going back until like fall. I know. I was like, dang, it takes that long. Like summer just started. Yeah, like they just came back and then they're gone until fall. So sad. I can wait. And I totally forgot I was boycotting them. Yeah, so are you going to break the boycott? Or? Of course, of course. I definitely want to eat there. I don't know if I want a chili cheese burrito or a burrito supreme. Or maybe I'll go to Mexican Pizza Hut. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. 
89-25 place the Benjamin third. That's not bad. Elvis is singing for you. He's trying to get, he's trying to give you the good luck. We need Elvis. Hopefully this is the one. This is the time. I believe it is. You got it. This bag. Thank you. 
ride on their back and uh, like a rodeo guy? No, I don't think I want to. I've seen people get thrown off and they get like thrown like 10 feet in the air. Yeah. Like with a horn going like in their back. And I'm like, I'm good. Yeah. I don't I, want that. I would definitely want to ride a bull. I'll stick to like a mechanical bull like where there's like pads and stuff that you get thrown on now. Have you actually done one of those? I have. I have never. I didn't know if these were actually real. I want to I would want to ride an actual bull though. Or go to like Spain and do the running with the bulls. That doesn't look like fun either. It sounds like fun. No, I you're running for your life away from bulls. I don't think they'll actually see you. Oh, I feel like they will. They might get the people in the middle. Because we had to watch it on like family class and stuff. And the ones that we watched, nobody ever got hurt. But it makes sense. They probably can't show you the ones that we like to get hurt on. I don't know. That's crazy stuff. I can't believe you wouldn't ride an actual bull. I, I value my life. They're a nice guy. I don't think so. I think the ones that you ride are actually the ones that are mean. That's because they stab them in the back. And then you're saying, you're saying they're nice guys. They're not nice guys. They're literally like the angry ones. So you're saying if somebody stabbed you in the back, you'd be a friendly guy? No, but you're <laughs> saying they're being friendly. They're not. I know. Like your whole thing, you just said like, they're friendly. No, they're not. <laughs> They look like the angry ones. I feel like they would be nice. No, they wouldn't throw you off if they were being nice. Well, they probably only throw you off because you're sitting on their back. I don't know. <laughs> Just go in! 
big roller coaster in the way. Yeah, I would say so. I don't know if you know that, but... Oh, shit, the... Uh -huh. Wow, that's a lot. Bitcoin drawing. It's a Bitcoin! Nice! That's a good one for the drive. Maybe we'll win this one. Yeah, maybe. 